Hello everybody and uh, welcome back. So uh, right now we're going to be talking about thermal neutron diffusion. Um, so uh, the idea here is that um, neutrons will diffuse roughly with the same energy distribution or with the same energy distribution as the medium that they're in just because uh, particles will bounce off of each other and they'll come to some, an equilibrium. And so you'll recall that the distribution um, of particles um, in general at an energy at some energy E is given by the Maxwellian distribution. Uh, Maxwell was proper noun, so uh, which we discussed earlier in the course. So. Uh, but just to, to reiterate it here, this is that the number of particles that an energy E um, is equal to uh, 2 times pi uh, times n, so the total number of particles, divided by, um, uh, this is parentheses, pi times the Boltzmann constant, K, times the temperature in Kelvin um, to the 3 halves power, um, so to 1.5, uh, uh, times the square root of E, all that times the square root of E, times E, or times the square root of energy, I should say, times E, the exponential, uh, to the negative energy over kt, right? So kt is a sort of a measure of the number of degrees of freedom that you have in the system um, and how, how in a unit, in, in energy, and then uh, this, it then normalizes out, right? This ends up being a unitless quantity that's just uh, the number of particles. So, um, in this, we also had that the number, that the velocity, or remember the velocity as a function of energy, um, right? If we just take one half, uh, the kinetic energy, E equals one half the mass times the uh, velocity squared. If we solve that for velocity, we get uh, the square root of two times the energy divided by uh, the mass of the particle. And in this case, we're only dealing with neutrons, so it's the mass of a uh, neutron, okay? Um, and so, if we'll recall, um, right, our flux is equal to the number of particles that we have times the velocity that they're flying around with. So we can say that then the flux as a function of energy is equal to uh, the number as a function of energy <laughs> uh, times the velocity as a function of energy. And so um, uh, if we go ahead and expand that out uh, using the above expressions here, we can see that the flux as a function of energy is equal to, um, uh, well, we get some things that cancel. Um, so we get, uh, let me work this out here. So uh, this is uh, that times square root of 2e over m. Uh, oops. And so, huh, something is wrong here. What did I do wrong? Uh, square root. Last square root might not be closed, I guess. Yes, okay. So we actually have um, here, <laughs> uh, right? So this is uh, square root of e times the uh, square root of e. Um, so we get an e that comes out. Um, so, uh, well, let's just do this. Um, right, so we get an E that comes out, 
uh, this E term here is fine. Uh, we end up with a uh, 2 over uh, this 2 is in uh, the square root here. Um, and so, wow, why can I not read my writing? Um, <laughs> uh, uh, here, yeah, so basically, let me get rid of this and get rid of that. Um, and we'll take that off. So we'll say left and uh, right to the two third or to the three halves, sorry. And then we have this other term right here. So this will be um, two over three halves um, times uh, k uh, over kt oop, to the three halves times pi uh, times n divided by the square root of m underscore n. Yes, I believe that's this is correct. Okay, so um, uh, and note that in the book, actually, this last e they forget accidentally, which is too bad. Um, so this is the right form of this expression. So uh, the one group thermal flux. So if it, basically, if we evaluated this expression at thermal energies, um, uh, we would get, or if we integrated this expression over the over the distribution of thermal energy, so energies were, were in equilibrium, um, we would be able to say that, uh, right, when we want to know what the average flux is, so then we would, we would call this, um, so let's call this for, oops, the, what's called the one group I'll put this in bold, thermal flux is, it's just the integral of this, so it's phi of t, or it's the integral of this over thermal energies. So we'd say the integral over some thermal energy range of phi of e uh, d e. Um, right, so this is only over that thermal energies. And thermal energies uh, typically range, they're on the order of 1 eV um, or the 5 kT. So we'll say um, energies are uh, for normal temperatures. Are these is about. Um, um, approximately five times kT, and um, that is about uh, one or zero point one uh, electron electron volts. Okay, um, and so if we go ahead and um, evaluate this. Or if we were to evaluate that that integral, um, we would see that thermal fluxes are equal to about two oh, frac. Uh, sorry, two times the number of neutrons um, divided by, uh, or the neutron density divided by the square root of pi. Um, times the square root of uh, 2 kT uh, times uh, the uh, 
mass of the neutron. So, um, so if we had that, we can then go ahead and define the uh, thermal energies. Um, so we can define uh, the thermal energy range. The thermal energy as uh, we'll just call E sub T equals just KT, okay? Um, and so if we then stick this, uh, if we stick that and we solve for the velocity, right, we of course get um, the thermal velocity is equal to the square root of uh, oops, fraction 2 times uh, the thermal energy divided by um, divided by the mass of the neutron. And so if we go ahead and plug that in, right, uh, what we'll get is uh, uh, this is uh, kt or the velocity uh, two times kt uh, over the mass of the neutron. Okay, um, and so given this, the thermal energies are given as if we actually plug in Boltzmann's constant and the temperature and everything for sort of normal uh, everyday temperatures, um, we get that e sub t or, or something that will 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 define that e our, our reference energy of of you know 20 degrees celsius um uh so 293 kelvin um so we'll call this one a special um uh one a special value thermal are taken as a reference to the special point where E naught equals 0 0.0253 um, electron volts. And thus what we have in this case for this particular energy, um, we have our corresponding uh, Velocity here is equal to about 220, or two, sorry, 2,200 meters per second. And so, while this velocity is very, very fast, right, now, <laughs> relative to many things that we experience every day in nature, um, it is definitely not relativistic, right? Relativistic speeds are up at 10 to the 7, 10 to the 8 meters per second. And so, um, even though our neutrons are moving very quickly in a in a when they're thermalized they're they're not relativistic they're actually quite slow uh, uh, for all intents and purposes in a nuclear engineering application so um, just note that when we talk about thermal energies and thermal diffusion this is about how fast your neutrons are flying around with and this is a and about 0 0.0253 eV is the uh, energy that they have Okay, thank you everybody and have a great day.